Hello welcome to Objective Question Answer MCQ's YouTube channel. With a positive vibes let's start this video. Question number 1. A what kind of garbage is not converted into compost by the earthworms? B have you seen any other organism besides earthworm, in your pit? If yes, try to find out their names. Draw pictures of these. Answer number 1. A. Plastic bags, tins, bottles, glass, aluminium foils, broken bangles. B. Yes, these organisms include maggots, flies, cockroaches etc. Question number 2. Discuss. A. Is garbage disposal the responsibility only of the government? B. Is it possible to reduce the problems relating to disposal of garbage? Answer number 2. A. No, garbage disposal is not only the responsibility of the government. It is sole responsibility of both government and the people. People should not litter at public places. They should also take care for the effective disposal of the waste produced at home, schools, hospitals etc. B. Yes, it is possible to reduce the problems relating to disposal of garbage by taking following measures, 1. People should concern about generating less waste products and creating awareness among them. 2. Each and every product should be used efficiently. 3. Biodegradable and non-biodegradable wastes should be separated. 4. Waste products or garbage must be recycled and setting up center for the treatment of them. Question number 3. A. What do you do with the leftover food at home? B. If you and your friends are given the choice of eating in a plastic plate or a banana leaf platter at a party, which one would you prefer and why? Answer number 3. A. We usually throw the leftover food outside our homes. But kitchen wastes are biodegradable, so leftover food at home should be dumped into compost pits so that it gets converted into manure after some days. B. I will prefer to eat in banana leaf because it is a biodegradable product and environment friendly and can be decomposed. Question number 4. A. Collect pieces of different kinds of paper. Find out which of these can be recycled. B. With the help of a lens look at the pieces of paper you collected for the above question. Do you see any difference in the material of recycled paper and a new sheet of paper? Answer number 4. A. Papers without having plastic coating on it can be recycled. B. The recycled is slightly yellowish in color than the new sheet of paper. Recycled paper is also rough and of low quality than new sheet of paper. Question number 5. A. Collect different kinds of packaging material. What was the purpose of which each one was used? Discuss in groups. B. Give an example in which packaging could have been reduced. C. Write a story on how packaging increases the amount of garbage. Answer number 5. A. Paper packet. Light food items. Cardboard. Crockery plastic covers. Clothes, 
dresses, glass covers, show pieces, wooden boxes, delicate items. B. If people started carrying their own carry bags for buying groceries and vegetables and fruits then there will be no need for packing those materials by using plastics and thus the packaging could have been reduced. C. Packaging increase the amount of garbage as the it is quite useless once the product is delivered or been utilized. These useless packaging materials are thrown away and just add loads to the garbage. Many packaging materials can't even be reused. Some of them are made of plastics and thus a non-biodegradable item which add hazards to the environment. Question number 6. Do you think it is a better to use compost instead of chemical fertilizers? Why? Answer number 6. Yes, I think it is better to use compost instead of chemical fertilizers because 1. It is environment friendly and add natural fertility to the soil. 2. It doesn't have adverse effect on nature and creates no pollution. 3. The food items grown are also healthy and do not contain any chemicals. 4. It is cheaper than the chemical fertilizer. 5. Soil will never lose its fertility if we use compost. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel Objective Question Answer MCQs. And always remember, never stops learning, because life never stops teaching.